Hello again. This video is about math selection for grade 10 students. There are two math courses available at the grade 10 level, Foundations of Mathematics and Precalculus 10, that's one course, commonly called Foundations 10, is the most academic option. This prepares you for either Foundations 11 or Precalculus 11, courses typically required for entry to academic post-secondary programs. Apprenticeship and Workplace Math 10 is a course more to do with uh, what we might call real-world math, including measurement, geometry, finances, and problem solving. A&W Math, as it's sometimes called, is a, it's an ideal preparation for many careers in the working world, but you need to be a little bit careful. You don't want to assume that you'll be covered for all trades training programs, for example, with A&W Math. Some trades training programs will require Foundations of Math 11, so you'll want to check college websites to be sure. Another consideration when choosing your math course is how well you do in math generally. Uh, if you have struggled in Math 9, earning a mark of C or lower, like barely passing, uh, or if you really don't like math, then you will find Foundations 10 a big struggle. On the other hand, strong math students may really have a very good reason to choose apprenticeship and workplace math based on their preferences or their future plans, and that's fine too. In general, if you're a strong math student, I encourage you to take Foundations of Math 10. It keeps more options open for you later. I also encourage all students entering grade 10 to reflect on which kind of career they might be interested in and do some research to see which level of math will be required. This can help your decision. One last note, uh, note that if you take Apprenticeship and Workplace Math 10, you won't be prepared to enter directly into Foundations or Precalculus 11. Um, you would need to go back and take Foundations of Math 10 first if that were a choice you made later. That would be okay, both Math 10 courses, if you took them both, would count for, uh, pardon me, as credits towards your graduation. In other words, they don't cancel each other out, they're separate courses, so you would just have eight um, grade 10 math credits instead of the required four, and that's fine too.